What up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I am your host, Mike Fury, and I make informative videos just like this one. So please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you do not miss out on any future content. And welcome back to another Fallout New Vegas video. <laughs> it feels a little weird because it's not this is not your typical. Um, oh, I'm gonna show you guys how to get a cool legendary weapon or a cool piece of armor or sometimes even both. This is more for people who are playing this for the first time. If you've already beaten this four, five, six times and you know more or less what order you like to do the the actual uh dlc season let me know down in the comment section below what order you'd like to do it in but for those of you who are playing it for the first time and are wondering when to engage in the dlc i got your back so now let me go ahead and grab this controller from over here i'm going to explain to you guys number one let's let's establish some real simple ground rules there is a way that the, the devs released it and then there's the proper way to do it so it flows well with the story the one that i'm going to be telling you guys because it's your first time i want it to flow as well as possible with the story so personally i've beaten this bad boy like 10 times i'll do them whenever i want because in reality i know this game like the back of my hand but for you guys very simple so we start off at good springs right Good Springs, you're going to be, you're po possibly going to leave Good Springs like around level three. And, oh, let's establish the, th the four DLCs, right? In Good Springs, you will unlock all the different little radio signals. And you could just follow the, the radio signals eventually till you reach the, 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 the right locations this year. Ramaje, Radio New Vegas, like you'll eventually get there, right? Once you've done Good Springs which is our starting point on the map, you're gonna want to do a little bit of the game before you head to Honest Hearts. So DLCs are Honest Hearts, Big um, big Mountain, in reality, Old World Blues, Dead Money, and Lonesome Road. Those are the four pieces of DLC that you will be getting in the game. Now, when to do them, they all have their own level caps and their own positions to do them now the devs release them like this they released dead money first because it was six approximately six months or five months or seven months some something along those lines seven months um five to seven months before um after the game launched so that means that all the people that have been playing it are either at the level cap or near the level cap so if i'm not mistaken dead money in enhanced the level cap I think it was by probably I think it was by five and gave um, the people who had been playing it already a challenge. That's why Dead Money is, was released first and it is possibly the best piece of DLC. The issue is that in the continuity of it all, Dead Money should be the third one that you, you guys actually attack. So now back to the main point. Good Springs, you're going to head down south. South, you're going to do Prim. You're gonna do the Mojave Outpost and you're gonna do Nipton. The reason why I want you to do Nipton first is because Nipton introduces you to Caesar. Once you get the introduction to Caesar, now we get to interact with the greatness that is Joshua Graham, standing on Jesus. <laughs> Joshua Graham ties into Caesar's story so perfectly well and introduces so many other characters that it just flows perfectly into the story of new vegas so to get to honest hearts you're gonna go from nipton and now you're just gonna head all the way back up to the northern passage this should be done at any point in time technically if you're like me you could do this at level seven level eight and you'll be perfectly fine the thing is that once you guys start out at nipton you should be around seven and eight you start walking back up and you start fighting some of the things you're going to be fighting, you should be at level 10 by the time you reach Honest Hearts. And Honest Hearts should be done between level 10 and level 15 on normal difficulty. Level 10 and level 15, right? Honest Hearts is in the normal Northern Passage. And it sets you up really nice. It has a lot of really good legendaries. You're going to get, for example... You're going to get a light and shining darkness, a 45 automatic. It will give you the option to get, for example, the uh, moddable 45 auto pistol and the 45 auto submachine gun. All pretty good. All really good weapons. It'll also give you the chance to get the awesome, where is it? The survivalist. Oh, no, I don't have it. Oh, look at that. It'll get you, allow you to get the survivalist rifle and have a great side story known as the um, part known as the survivalist's story, which is a really nice story. And not only that, Joshua Graham is such a polarizing character. He is going to set up the future characters that you will be meeting in these DLCs. And it's awesome. It's awesome, right? So that would be between level 10 and level 15. You go directly from there. Now, 
here is where things get interesting. If you do that, and by and by the time you get out of Honest Hearts, you technically should be around 16, 17. You're gonna go directly into into Big Mountain. The reason why I want you to go directly into Big Mountain, because Big Mountain in reality is the launching point for the amazing DLC that comes after it. The only issue with Big Mountain is that by the time you get out of Big Mountain, you will be so overpowered that the game doesn't make any sense anymore. I'm just gonna be honest. There's so much good loot in Big Mountain, especially one piece, one piece that I will tell you guys about right now, but let me tell you, show you guys directly. Northern Passage all the way down to right here, California Sunset Drive-In. When you're at the California Sunset Drive-In, just to hit midnight and the the um, actual, it'll be, it's like a little projector. You talk to the projector, it beams you into Big Mountain, boom shakalaka, you're there. Some of the best personalities, some of the best character writing you'll ever see in any piece of content ever. It is phenomenal. It just over makes you overpowered extremely fast. You will get this little piece of uh, greatness known as the self stealth soup. Stealth soup is uh, arguably the best piece of medium armor in the whole entire game. It gives you two different stat perks. One plus in per perception, one plus in agility. Gives you 20% sneak speed and then proceeds to give you 25 25 sneak while having 14 damage threshold and having an auto stim injection feature what <laughs> it is so obnoxiously overpowered that it just it renders stealth useless you won't need it you won't need stealth boys it, it, it just it's just too overpowered not to mention any of the cool legendary weapons not to mention any anything 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 that like literally they, they they have they have an atomic valence that gives you health regeneration like a it's literally one of the implants you can get in <laughs> in the doctor at the doctor in new vegas and plus one endurance bro it is absurd how strong you come out of big mountain so you go and you'll go directly onto Big Mountain. From Big Mountain, you will travel all of this area right here. You'll go back to Nipton and travel to Camp Searchlight and then travel to Novak. Where am I? Novak. If you do it right when you reach Novak, don't engage into anything else. You can go straight into the abandoned BOS bunker right of Novak and start dead money. If you do dead money at the proper level, dead money is challenging, rewarding, and possibly the greatest DLC you'll ever have. The message behind Big Mountain is so powerful that even though it does the most BS thing at the start of the game, at the start of the DLC, which is strip you from all of your weapons and armor and everything like that, even though it does that, the reward is, so, it's, and the reward is not a, a lot of people will be like, oh, the reward, what's, you know, like, no spoilers for you guys, but not even talking about that, the story for, the story for Dead Money is the reward. It is so good, so well written, so damn well written. Once you do that, and now here we're reaching the end of the video. Because now Dead Money, three of them have been completed. Dead Money should be completed around level 20. Anything after Big Mountain, after Honest Hearts, go directly. It doesn't matter what level you are, go directly into it. And Big Mountain sets up Dead Money and sets up Lonesome Road. And Lonesome Road is the last piece of DLC. Lonesome Road for story continuity should be completed right before the Battle of Hoover Dam. And the battle for Hoover Dam is the few missions wh with whoever you side with. I'm not going to tell you who to side with. You decide that it's your first playthrough. Enjoy it. But whoever you side with, do the do Lonesome Road before that. Because Lonesome Road is written in the continuity of right before the battle of Hoover Dam. So for story's sake, for your very first time, for your very first time, for story's sake, do it just the way I told you. That is the best way to do it. To get to Lonesome Road, it's literally right next. It's called the Canyon Wreckage. It's right over here, and it could be done anything 25 plus. If you're at level 25 and up, which you should be by the time you finish Dead Money, yeah, you'll be overpowered by then. But yes, 
Lonesome Road, along with all of the perks, all everything that it gives, is just it's an, it's an amazing piece of DLC. Pretty challenging. A lot of a lot of characters with DT. Before you reach that, though, you have to do all of the faction quests. I'm talking about the Boomers. I'm talking about the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm talking about the Fiends. I'm talking about NCR. I'm talking about Caesar's Legion. Do all of that before you engage, because then you have all the context of New Vegas, and now you get to talk to the person who watched you create and destroy. And I will leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And check out the links down in the description below. Amazon link, Patreon link, Humble Bundle link, all down in the description below. I'm your host, Mike Fury. It's been a complete pleasure. If you guys have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section below. A dollar, thank you so much. Until next time, Mike, off. Oh.